Well, good day to you and uh, praise the Lord, um, praying that uh, you're doing well and um, you feel the strength in the presence of the Lord, not only as you watch this video, but you have all, all week long, you know, as we endeavor to, to just live our lives and, you know, serve our, our, our families and, and um, you know, uh, serve God and work in, in our ministries. You know, there's so much that that is required of us, right? You know, some of us are pulled in, in so many directions, if it's with family and then job and then church and then church ministries and you know, extended family. You know, in, in the times that we live in, it's so easy to be pulled in, in, in so many directions. And, you know, one personally, you know, I understand and it can be exhausting sometimes when we get tired and even as we do the work of the Lord or we're seeking God's face, we could, yeah, feel burnout, but we could also feel, you know, uh, tired and, and, and thirsty, right, in, in, in the desert, uh, so to speak. And, and um, this, this morning, just reading a, a, a psalm, Psalm 63, and really just the first three verses, um, you know, just really spoke to me, and um, it seems like it just kind of applies to, to the times that, that we live in. And David, uh, uh, he writes this psalm while he is in a desert, and that he'd been there for a while, um, you know, with uh, King Saul in pursuit of him, uh, trying to kill him. He's in the desert, and, and he's tired. And so this is, this is what he writes. Uh, Psalm 63 verses 1 through 3 he says you God are my God and e even just reading that from the onset I, I, I really uh, appreciate that because we do have options of having other gods I mean I'm not necessarily talking about like idols or or um, y you know statues or made-up gods or whatever bad spirits we can have a lot of other gods, we, you know, material gods, ambitious gods, uh, uh, um, you know, or, uh, other things. But here he establishes, you know, really in a hard place in his life, you, God, are my God. And I earnestly, you know, I seriously, I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. And so he, he's, he's literally referring his spiritual condition to his physical one. He's in this desert. One can assume he's thirsty. And, and, and he's literally saying the same thing. Look at, you know, my soul, it longs for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry parched land where there's no water. What? Why, why he says that? Well, when you're in the desert, when you're in a hard place or even just physically, water is, is a source of life, right? It's a source of life. He goes on and says, I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. So he's saying, hey, listen, when, when I was in the sanctuary, when I was in that holy place, you know, I, I've, I experienced your power and your glory. But at this point, he's not in that place. He's in a desert. He's separated. He's running. But look at what he says in verse 3. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. You know, it, it's, it's these kind of things that I feel jealous of, of David because of his love for God, but more so because of his understanding of the greatness and, and the goodness of God. And he says, you know, your, your love is better than life. Like if, I, if I'm to die in this desert, if... If Saul is to catch up, uh, uh, catch up to me, and kill me, it doesn't. 
It doesn't matter because your, your love, God, is better than my life. It's better than life. And my lips will glorify you. He's going to praise him. He's giving him the honor and the glory. I love that. Despite his situation, despite circumstances, despite that, that um, you know, just relaying it to us that our bodies are tired or we're in a season where we're so busy and pulled in so many directions and there's so many demands and we can't find space for, for ourselves. Your love is better than life. Your love is better than life. And though we could experience him in the sanctuary, yeah? We could also experience him on the daily. On the daily. In, in our everyday life. In just quick moments. You know, some of us don't have an hour to give to a devotion. Some of us don't even have 10 minutes to have to devotion. Not that we're bad people. It's that we hit the ground running. But man, it, it only takes just a few seconds in the presence of the Lord. It only takes just a short time. As here as David is just opening up his heart and realizing that, that the power and the glory of God is with him. That even though he's not feeling it, the, the love of God transcends it. I encourage you, I encourage you to just uh, seek God's face. And, and I know that that's just a Christian pun, a Christian, you know, verbiage now, nowadays. Seek his face. Seek his face. Because in reality, if we realize it or not, our whole being longs for him. Our whole being is like in a parched place. Our whole being needs the presence of God. And we can medicate it. We can avoid it. We can ignore it. We could bury it. We can do a lot of things as people because we have our own will. But the truth is, is that we all long for God. We all desire God. We all need God. And I want to encourage you to seek his face. Find him. Find him in your day. In the, in the moments in the car. In the moments when you're standing in line for your coffee. In just a quick brief moment in between clients or, or, or business. In between on a break at school during your classes online. Seek his face. Cry out to him. Cry out to him. At times, I write notes to God. It's, it's like my written praise. I say, Lord, I need you. I desire you. It is only you, God, that can help me. I, I write notes to him when I'm walking around the hospital or I just feel this urge or that I'm overwhelmed. I'm just trying to encourage you. Let's seek God earnestly. Let's thirst for him. Let, let's let, as we see him in the sanctuary on Sundays, right? And we see his power and we see his glory and we feel his presence. Let's do the same on the daily because your love, God, is is better than life. And my lips will will glorify you. God bless you.